Okay, what's up internet? So today we are reviewing a case from Zygmatic and to be honest, I haven't had a lot of experience with these guys but we started stocking Zygmatic because they seem to have a good balance between cost and their good value for your money. So the Eden Plus is kind of emblematic of that kind of good value for money and this case in particular is even less than 2,000. It, we sell it at 1,900 and that's the sweet spot of the brand. And yes, there are certain trade-offs, of course, when you buy a case for this price. But generally, overall, the case is not bad. And we're actually using it now for a build. So the front panel features three USB ports, an optional space for an SD card reader, um, headphone jack, all of the usual things. The front panel is a bit obtrusive for my personal taste. I mean. Most cases try to sort of blend the front panel into the case itself, but this one just sort of plops everything down there, the buttons and all the things. But it's nice and accessible and it has that going for it. So it's very clear on what it is rather than trying to hide it in little nooks and crannies unlike what other cases do. But the case itself is quite large inside. You can fit a full ATX case, you can have radiator support if you're going for AIOs. The manufacturer claims you can have a 280mm radiator up in front, you can put a 120mm radiator up on top and another one in the rear. So actually the inside is very roomy. The quality of the case itself is not bad again for what you get for the price. So the body of the case is plastic and this is one of the side panels and you'll notice the very kind of dull sound when you kind of lightly press on the case but the quality itself the finish is quite nice there's a brush finish to the texture of the side panels and on the top and front of the case the front of the case actually features a bit of an RGB strip there's a there are two thin RGB strips running down the front and you can control this via the button on the front panel so even at this very minimal price range there are some RGB options the case also comes with one 120 millimeter fan in the rear for added cooling and again I mentioned before how big the inside of the case is you can actually fit in six 120 millimeter fans inside the front of the case does feature the brand Brand, Zygmatic in very large letters in front. More premium cases like NZXT and Cooler Master have sort of gone away from that trend. They try to de-emphasize the brand by only putting minimal logos to the side. I guess Zygmatic um, hasn't gotten the style memo. They still have very large branding on the front. The styling of the front looks okay to me. I mean it looks sort of attractive but you're sort of left wondering what exactly they were going for with the design. There are a bunch of triangles to the left, bottom portion. They don't really allow, they look like they allow airflow at the start, but when you take a closer look, it's actually just closed off plastic. So it's just purely there for design. So it's just like a mishmash of different design elements. I can almost imagine the design meeting where they, the designers were like, okay, well, we put RGB in the front and that's good. And let's try to pretty it up a little bit. And then nobody knew what to do with it, so they stuck like basic isometric shapes and things like that. And but the overall effect is okay. It's not. Um, it doesn't turn somebody off. But again, at the same time, it doesn't have the same distinctiveness of some other higher end cases. But compared to other value cases I've seen, this one overall looks pretty good. It's distinctive without being overly loud or aggressive or off-putting and. At least you can tell that it's trying to set itself apart other than compared to the other value cases where they all look exactly the same. So that uh, at least the Eden Plus has that going for it. What's nice about the Eden Plus is that it comes at a good price and it has all the features of a modern case. It has the features of a more expensive case. For example, it has a PSU shroud which has become popular recently. Deepcool has a lot of cases with the PSU shroud and other higher-end manufacturers as well. Basically, it's so that you don't see the PSU anymore. It's kind of hidden in the base of the unit in the bottom of the case. It's quite roomy as I mentioned before. The thumb screws are not bad. Again, they are not as premium as more expensive cases, but they get the job done. The length of the screw is quite long relative to the screw itself so that you can really make sure that it sticks all the way in and you can screw the acrylic side panel all the way in. 
I've seen some cases where the screws are very, very short, like they're just these little stubs here. And I do get concerned sometimes that, you know, you want to screw it in some more just to make sure that the side panel is on. But the short stubs don't allow that. But at least the Eden Plus comes with a long, longish screw. Other modern features of the case, it does come with a top and bottom mesh filters. And the top one is magnetic and the bottom one is just secured via clamps underneath the case. The mesh itself feels thick so it will not tear easily and it will get the job done of blocking out any dust. Although the holes themselves on the mesh seem a little large so fine dust will definitely get into the case and you'll need to do cleaning every now and then. Although this looks pretty representative of a mesh filter of, from other manufacturers. The inner scaffolding where you attach your motherboard and basically everything else does feel a bit weak. Um, it's Again, it's just plastic so it doesn't feel very solid and any parts that you bend while assembling or building your, your rig, they will tend to bend much easier than other cases, so you do have to be careful. The case does come with routing holes so that you can try to do some cable management and hide some wires in the back. Although there doesn't seem to be a hole on the top around here so that usually we route the cables from the power supply all the way up here and then make it pass through a hole on top but the case the Eden Plus doesn't seem to have a hole there so we're gonna have to route it through the side. For airflow performance the front of the case is pretty much walled off and there's not much air there won't be a lot of air being sucked in through the front there are vents to the side of the front where air might be able to pass through although you'll have to install extra fans because the case as mentioned only comes with one rear fan. You can see the kind of vents there on the sides. I don't really know how much intake those things can, you know, can handle. Although to be honest, poor intake is not just the fault of value cases. We've seen more expensive cases in the past where intake is also a problem because basically the front side is all walled off and there's no vents to allow air to come in. And it's a designer's choice and you know, it's not just limited to the Eden Plus. So overall, not not a bad case for its price. It looks distinctive. It has it's very roomy inside. You won't hurt yourself when you're building your rig because there aren't a lot of sharp edges. There's not a lot of metal also. So the plastic, you know, is easier on your fingers. The thumb screws are nice, the burnished feel of the case is good as well. Again, overall, of course, it's a value case, so some corners had to be cut. Not a bad job from Zygmatic to cut corners where they can be cut rather than really sort of just make something super cheap and not care about it and just throw RGB on it and toss it on the market. Zygmatic Eden Plus, if you're looking for a value case, do consider it. So I hope that these basic tips help you. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button. For your PC needs, consider buying from us, Hardware Sugar, at Lazada, or on our website. You can find links in the description below. And thank you for watching. See you next video.